Dear Science, About that eclipse that's happening in August, I heard that the shadow is moving from west to east. But how can that be possible since the moon moves from east to west? I heard that the shadow is moving from west to east. But how can that be possible since the moon moves from east to west? In this video presentation, we will show NASA's own heliocentric model of cosmology. Compare that to NASA's own professional explanation as to why an west to east eclipse. Then you as a viewer can compare both to see how the two cannot be the same as presented by NASA. Hi, I'm Sarah Kaplan and I'll be answering for science today. On August 21st, something really exciting is going to happen in the US, a total solar eclipse. This is what happens when the moon passes in front of the sun and it's going to cast a shadow that travels across the United States all the way from the Oregon coast to South Carolina. But wait, if the moon rises in the east and sets in the west, why is the shadow moving from west to east? This is actually a really big question, and even astrophysicists sometimes have trouble answering it. Let's see if any of my colleagues can help. So we went to NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland to talk to Alex Young, a NASA scientist. Meet Dr. C. Alex Young. Alex is the Associate Director for Science in the Heliophysics Science Division at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. In this role, he is responsible for overseeing and coordinating the education and public outreach team for the division. He works with the EPO team as a liaison with the NASA Offices of Education and Communication. In addition, he works with the division scientists to promote and support their research. To try to make it as simple as possible, it really boils down to how fast the Earth is spinning and how fast the moon is orbiting around it. The moon is orbiting about twice as fast as this, the Earth is spinning. So if we're looking down on the Earth and we're at the moon, we see the Earth spinning, but the moon is moving faster. And so that shadow is moving across the Earth this way, which is west to east. At this point, we will explore two different concepts as presented by NASA's own data from their own website. Number one, NASA's heliocentric model will prove his words to be incorrect. Number two, the phases of the moon. If the moon was rotating as fast as he had stated, moon phases would change hourly, not daily, and the length of each month would be drastically reduced. To try to make it as simple as possible, it really boils down to how fast the Earth is spinning and how fast the moon is orbiting around it. The moon is orbiting about twice as fast as this, the Earth is spinning. If we're looking down on the Earth and we're at the moon, we see the Earth spinning, but the moon is moving faster. And so that shadow is moving across the Earth this way, which is west to east. 
Hmm, interesting. NASA's own professional personnel appear to be purposely misrepresenting NASA's own heliocentric model in order to further hide truths concerning the west to east eclipse. The question is, why would Dr. Young, who has a doctorate degree in heliophysics, make such an incorrect statement knowing very well every model NASA has ever presented as heliocentric completely contradicts what he has just said? Don't the moon phases in the heavens we witness every day and month also contradict what Alex stated concerning the speed of the moon's traverse across the sky? Yes, what we observe with our natural eye concerning the phases of the moon totally negates what Dr. Young is saying. The moon cannot be moving as fast as he states it does because this would cause the phases of the moon to change by the hour, not by the day. The fact is, the moon moves much slower than he states. This is how man is able to observe the moon rising in the east because the moon is moving much slower than the surface of the earth. Without question, given the heliocentric model put forth by NASA, the surface of the Earth, in relationship to the Moon, is rotating much faster than the Moon. The Moon is orbiting about twice as fast as this, the Earth is spinning.